Good morning, uh, middle one students. How are you today? Let's uh, start to solve worksheet number seven. Okay. Question number one. Complete the following statements. On reaching the ground, when I threw something, and on reaching the object, reaching to the ground. So the mechanical energy is only it's what it's you know middle one that the mechanical energy equal the potential energy plus the kinetic energy but on through it something then this something reach to the ground so the mechanical energy the mechanical energy of this object is only its kinetic energy because the potential energy equal to zero because the potential energy is zero so the kinetic energy equal to the mechanical energy the mechan the kinetic energy reaches to the maximum so the mechanical energy the mechanical energy is only its kinetic energy Number two, the kinetic energy of a moving object. Kinetic energy of a moving object. Affected by what? Or increases by increasing its what and what? You know that the kinetic energy affected by the mass of the object and the speed of the object. So if the mass of the object increases, so the kinetic energy increases. And also, if the speed of the object increases, so the, the kinetic energy of this object will increase. So it increases by increasing its mass and its speed or velocity. Number three, if the speed of an object motion is double, its kinetic energy increases into what? At a constant mass. You know that the, the, the kinetic energy equal to the kinetic sorry, the kinetic energy equal half m v square velocity square or speed square so if the mass of the object is constant and increase the velocity into double increase the velocity into double if i put the mass is one mass of the object one kilogram and the velocity equal to two. So here, the kinetic energy equal to what? Equal to two squared, so it equal to four half mv squared, so half times one times four squared, so it equal to two. So the kinetic energy equal to two joule. But if I increase the velocity into double, and instead of two, I increased into double, increased into four. So four squared, so it equal to 16. So half mv squared, half times one times 16 so it equal to a equal to 
A. So the here the kinetic energy before is equal to two, but if I increase the speed into doubled, so it becomes A. So the kinetic energy increased into four times. Four times. So the speed, if the speed of the object motion is doubled, so the kinetic energy increased into four times. A constant mass. Number four, the energy stored in food is what? The energy stored in the food is chemical, chemical energy, but the, that is produced from the solar cell. The solar cell produced electric energy. Electric energy, okay? What's meant by number one? The potential energy of the object is equal to zero, equal to zero. What? This is, this sentence means by what or means what? The potential energy, if the potential energy of the object is equal zero, so it means that the, the energy stored in the object equals to zero. So the definition of the potential energy, what is the, poten the potential energy? The energy stored in the energy stored in object equal zero. So there is no potential energy. Number two, the stored energy in the object due to the work done on it equal 100 joule. This definition is what this, this is the definition of the potential energy. So the stored energy in the object, so the potential energy equal, so its potential, its potential energy of this object equal 100 joule. Number three, the kinetic energy of the object equal 60 joules. This is meant by, or this is means that the work done during the motion. What is the definition of the kinetic energy? The work done, the work done during the motion, related to the motion during the motion of the object equal 60 key, 60 joules. Okay. Here, question, uh, question, question number three, solve the following problems. Number one, the force of 20 Newton acted on a body. Force of 20 Newton. So you have what? You have force equal, force equal 20 Newton. And also you have acted on a body to move it for a distance of one, five. So the distance equal, distance equal one and a half, 1.5 meters. Calculate the work done. So the work done equal what? Work done equal 
force times displacement force times displacement so the work done equal force 20 times displacement 1.5 so equal 30 joule okay number two the stone of two kilogram falls from eight meters stone from two kilograms so the mass is what so the mass mass is uh, equal to two kilogram from eight meters what is the potential energy at high two meters he need here the potential energy of the high two meters not eight meters knowing that the gravity acceleration equal 10 meter per second squared so the what is the rule of uh, to calculate the potential energy so the potential potential energy equal potential energy equal what equal mass times gravity mass times gravity times high so the potential energy equal equal the potential energy equal weight times height affected by the weight and the height so potential energy equal mass two kilogram equal to two kilogram times gravity 10 times height he need to calculate the potential energy at height two. So the height equal two. So it equal. So the potential energy here, make the calculations. So equal to 40 joule. It's very easy. Number three here, someone take the pole of a mass. Pole of the mass, pole, each mass is what? Mass is half kilogram. And weight, its weight is five newton. So the weight is five newton, vertical. So he kick the pole, vertically upwards at a height four meters when reaching to the height four meters its max the velocity was 10 meter per second square calculate its potential energy at height four meters so at height four meters so i must put here put the the, uh, the rule of the potential energy, the potential energy equal potential energy equal mass times gravity times height. So it equal to mass half. times gravity knowing that here middle one doesn't give you the gravity so he give you the weight so the potential energy equal what equal weight times height because he give you the weight. So the potential energy equal weight five times 
height of four meters. So five times four equal 20 joule. Okay, after that, now P, he know, uh, or uh, uh, he need the kinetic energy on reaching the ground. Need the kinetic energy, kinetic. energy so the kinetic energy on reaching the ground is the maximum okay so it equal equals to of minus m times v square V square, so the kinetic energy equal half times M half times V square, V square on reaching it to the ground, so the velocity is 10 to the power 2. N to the power two, so that make the calculations half times half times ten to the power two, so it equals to twenty five two twenty five joules. Now for calculate the weight of an object whose mass is five kilogram. Mass is five kilogram. Knowing the gravity. Due to the, the uh, due to the acceleration is nine point eight. So he need here the weight of the object. So the weight of the object equal what? Weight of the object equal mass times gravity. So the mass time mass equal five times gravity nine point eight. So equal to make the calculation, so equal to 49 joule. Question, uh, question number five or uh, problems number five, calculate the speed of a moving body whose mass is 10 kilogram. The mass is 10 kilogram and its kinetic energy is 2,000 joules. Here, middle one, two, thousand joules. The kinetic energy is two thousand joules. He need what? He need the speed. So the speed, junior, uh, middle one, speed equal what? Velocity equal what? Velocity equal the square root of two kinetic energy divided m. So if you need to calculate the velocity or the speed, so the velocity means square rule of two kinetic energy. So it equal square rule, two kinetic energy, he give you the kinetic energy, two times two thousand, divided mass divided 10 so the answer will be the answer will be 20 velocity so the speed is 20 meter per second meter per second because the meter per second is the measuring unit of the speed. Last question, uh, question number four, define 
define the energy. What does it mean by the energy? It's very simple. The energy means it's the ability to do work or make a change. In the ability. It's the ability to do work or make a change. It's the ability to do work or make a change. Number two, the kinetic energy. What does it mean by the kinetic energy? The kinetic energy means it's the work done. It's the work done during the motion of the object during the motion of the object okay we finish uh, this worksheet Thank you, middle one. Good boy.